Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about all these countries? In this small series, I would therefore like to give you an overview of those countries of the world. And this includes a brief overview of the most important data on their political system. And today it is about Kiribati. And the official name of the country is Republic of Kiribati. It's pronounced that way, although it's written Kiribati. The form of government is a republic and a parliamentary democracy. The head of state is President Taniti Mamau from the Top One Kiribati Party. He took office on March 11th in 2016. And the head of government is at the same time the head of state. The foreign minister is also the head of state. On the Human Development Index, Kiribati ranks 132nd place. Kiribati is a parliamentary democracy with a unicameral parliament. The Legislative Assembly consists of 46 members. The legislative period is four years. The President is head of state, head of government and foreign minister at the same time. The President is directly elected by the people after three to four candidates have been nominated from among the members of parliament. According to the Kiribati Constitution, a maximum of two re-elections are permitted, so a total of three terms of office per president. Taniti Mamau has been president since taking office on March 11th in 2016 and he was re-elected in June 2020 and parliamentary elections took place in April 2020. In addition to the president, his deputy and the attorney general, the government currently has 12 ministers. The latter are appointed by the president from among the members of parliament. There is only an informal and very loosely structured party system. The parties are more like interest groups. On September 20th in 2019, Kiribati switched diplomatic relations from Taiwan to China, with which it maintains intensive economic relations. And that's the closest um, that we know of. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.